Hello, dumpster fire view viewers. Well, I thought that this would be a good way to start this project. So, it is October 3rd. It's a year after I bought this car. So, I figured it was time to finally show you guys this car. But, we're going to start back from the beginning. We've been taping some parts here and there for about a year. I'll admit we missed some of the stuff when we started the car up and whatnot, but overall, you'll get to see the progress of this car. This is one of those cars I never thought I'd be able to afford. Got a heck of a deal on it. Right place, right time. Had cash. So, as you know, you've seen Jason in the other videos. He's not here right now. He's in some of the videos that I filmed, not all of them, but he's the one that helped me. We did this mostly in his garage in eight months. Um, little backstory: found the car on Craigslist or on Facebook Marketplace. Um, just happened to be scrolling through, and it was there. Uh, a couple days before that, I had bought my Mega Cab. That one. And uh, just so happened to have some cash left over from when I bought that. I had sold off a bunch of stuff to try to buy a decent truck so we could go on road trips and go pick up cars. The day after I bought that, we took it down to Iowa to go pick up Jason's Vega. We the red one you see in the videos coming up. We'll try to do some more videos of that. I know he's been working on it. And from what it started out as to what it is now, I know we missed a bunch of videos that we could have made, but we're new at this. Bear with us. So we went down to Iowa. We picked up that car. We got back late, real late. So I left the truck and I left the trailer over at his place. And my probe happened to be sitting there, so I drove that home that night. Next day, I came back to town to... Pick up the truck, take the trailer back, and was scrolling through Marketplace, and I found a 71 Challenger. The price was right, couldn't turn it down. Immediately messaged the guy saying, hey, I'm in lacrosse, about a half an hour away. I got to grab my truck and my trailer, and I'd like to come take a look at it. I got cash. He was nice enough to hold it for me until we got there. Got there, me and Jason started looking at it, and for the price, we couldn't say no. So, we loaded it up on the trailer and brought it home. That was a week, I think it was a week or two before Frankensteiner's in uh, Cambridge. And you'll see in the videos that I was really thinking about trying to take that car <laughs> to that show. Supposedly it ran, they drove it, whatever. It's probably a really good thing that it turned into a snowstorm that weekend, and we didn't go. Because had I tried driving this car even off the trailer into the show, probably wouldn't have been good. The brakes were absolute garbage. Be honest, there probably was no brakes. So, probably a good thing we didn't do that. So... From there, it sat in our garage here for a little bit. I did a little bit of work on it. You'll see some of that. Um, I tried getting that original 318 that's in the car to fire up. It ran, sort of, but at that point, it was, if I was going to build a motor, it wasn't going to be a 318. I had a 360 already. Good 360. That uh, high nickel block that... If something was going to get rebuilt, it should have been that. So that's what we did. We tore it all apart. I ordered a bunch of parts. I sold the Mustang I had so I could buy parts. We ordered a ton of stuff for this car. Cosmetically, it's still rough. Am I going to fix it? Maybe someday. I'm not too concerned about that, honestly. But it runs, it drives actually sitting right here don't want to 
want to give too much away, but I've had some few little problems since we've got it up and running. It was uh, beginning of August, I think, when we first got it running. Got it driving, and I've driven it a bunch since then. Got it to the point where I can trust it enough that I can drive it to work, which is a half an hour drive. Doesn't overheat, doesn't have any of those problems. I've been working on the little tiny problems, oil leaks, <clears throat> brakes, that kind of stuff since then. But for the most part, it's running, it's driving. They're always a work in progress. Always new parts to put on stuff. So, from here, I'm going to start the new, or er, the old videos. Um, hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, and share it. Let your friends know. I'm sorry if you're a Mopar purist and you think this car should have been put back to showroom factory stock. Ain't going to happen. Cars are meant to be driven, enjoyed, and that ain't the way I enjoy my cars. So, hope you guys like it. Peace. All right, Dumpster Fire viewers, we've got a new project here. Now, unfortunately, we didn't film bringing it home, but before I clean anything up, I want to show you guys what it looks like as it's coming off the trailer here. So, um, switch the camera around here so you guys can see. Or not. Well, we'll just do it this way. Okay. We got a 71 Challenger. Now, don't forget, this is Minnesota, Wisconsin, so it does have rust. Got a little whammo in front. Overall, it's a pretty nice car. Never really thought I'd be able to own one of these because they're so damn expensive, but got this one for a pretty good deal. Supposedly, 15 years ago, when it was parked, it ran. It drove. So, my thought is, we get the Frankensteiner's car show next weekend. I kind of want to take this. Kind of hoping that I can get it running just enough to drive it in there. I'm going to be trailing it up there anyway, so... All it's really got to do is drive about a quarter of a mile, very slowly, and somewhat stop. We're going to see what we can do on getting it to run. It's got a 318 and an automatic, which, yeah, I know it's an automatic, and that kind of sucks, but let's take a look underneath here. It's got air shocks on it. Gas tank don't look too bad. Overall, it ain't bad, bad. Like I said, this is, like I said, this is Minnesota, Wisconsin, so it's got rust. It's got headers on it already. Interior is mostly there. Seats are in bad shape, but go to the other side, you can probably see a little better without the sun glaring on it. According to the odometer, it's only got 389 miles. <laughs> That's one awesome seat cover. And we'll go back here to the trunk. See if I can get the trunk where the bob open here. It's got to be 
one of these keys. There we go. As you can see, it's been sitting for a long time. She's got a lot of bird crap on it. Little rust over here. But other than that, let's get to that. Let's see. Drum clock rod here. That set over here looks pretty good. I need to do some cleaning. But overall, not bad. Got a 318. With a junk ass Holly. It's got a dominator intake on it, so that's a plus. Like I said before, it's got headers. Now we tried turning the motor a little bit when we went to go pick it up, but didn't try too hard, but it didn't feel like it wanted to move. But when they're putting a breaker bar on it and spraying some marble oil down the cylinders, we can, can't get it to break free. So, But first things first, I'm going to clean this thing up and we'll do another quick little video.